Hey everyone, Christy Titus here, and I'm with Preston Lentfer from Team Hornady, and we're gonna talk today about the super basics of reloading and the equipment that you might need if you wanna get into reloading, which sure. there's a lot of great reasons to start reloading. Absolutely. The one that comes to mind for most people right away is economics, um, especially in times like this where ammunition is scarce or maybe even a little bit expensive. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can really, uh, if you have your, your kit kind of assembled already, you can really crank out some inexpensive ammunition. Which is um, great if you love to shoot a lot. Absolutely, and I think all of us watching probably do. So the economical aspect of, of reloading your ammunition is a, is a fantastic reason to do it. Um, another reason would be just to get maybe the most accuracy you possibly can out of your particular weapon. Another one, um, maybe you have grandpa or grandma's old gun that it's obsolete and there's no more ammunition made for it. You can you can roll your own and, and shoot that old gun and have some good memories with it. Uh, another thing is just personal satisfaction. And that's honestly why I reload. Uh, you know, there's a lot of good ammunition from the factory out there today that, you know, really does the job. But I like to, to, to load my own and know that I hit the target with the ammunition that I loaded or that animal with the, with the ammunition that I loaded. So regardless of why you want to get into reloading, there is so much equipment. And for a new reloader, it can be a little bit overwhelming on where to start, which sure. is why we decided to kind of create this video series. So in front of us and behind us, there's not enough room on the table to put everything in one spot. Uh, we have some basics that you're going to need from a fundamental standpoint in reloading. And a lot of the components that you'll find within reloading are things that you uh, may personally prefer. There are things that you have to have, and then there's things that there's lots of opinions on. Um, so we're gonna kind of walk people through some things that we have here that work for you and your team when you're assembling ammunition here at the Hornady factory. Yeah, and we'll kind of just forget about the, the main four, powder, bullet, brass, and primer. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to have those regardless of the situation to make ammunition. Uh, but we need to start with a press mm -hmm. and we need to decide uh, there's two styles out there basically there's single stage or progressive now single stage you're going to do one function of, of the reloading process at a time you can really pay good attention uh, but it is a little bit slower than a progressive mm -hmm. a progressive you're actually doing multiple functions of reloading at one time with one handle stroke. Mm -hmm. So every pull of the handle, you're cranking out a finished round of ammunition. And that goes from your, filling your powder charge, uh, putting insert in your primer pockets, mm -hmm. seating bullets. So it can take what would normally be in a single stage, multiple step processes and make it into one more expedited process. But with that, a little more complicated to use and learn. But like with everything, once you learn it, it's easy to it's easy to do. It's just kind of going over that learning curve of getting getting familiar with your progressives. Right. Yeah, and and I do recommend new new shooters, new reloaders start out with a single stage. Mm -hmm. It's just much easier to follow what's going on. Um, typically, you can probably load with three to maybe five hundred rounds of a, a, an hour with a progressive press, whereas with a single stage, you're probably closer to hundred rounds an hour. Mm -hmm. So it really also comes down to deciding on that how much do you plan to shoot? Yeah. Do you really need a progressive mm -hmm. for the amount of shooting that you're going to do? And that really comes down to, to personal decision. I have both and I probably load on my single stage more than my pro mm -hmm. progressive. So if you guys have extra time and you're looking to pick up a new hobby, reloading is maybe going to be your thing because uh, if you love shooting, it's it's a great way to to put away the ammunition. So, you know, we have lots of opportunity right. to shoot. And, you know, the biggest component of price with reloading is your brass. So, Indeed. you know, if you're buying factory ammunition, you retain that spent brass and you can then use that to reload. It's a great way to kind of have the best of both worlds, if you will, um, in, in acquisition of brass um, and then moving forward into reloading. So, First of all, I think most people, you know, they don't know where to start. So you guys at Hornady, every four years, you come out with a kind of a handbook of reloading. And what I really love about this book is the first, you know, beginning portion of this book is basically like the nuts and bolts of how to. Um, so if you don't know how to reload, this book will kind of serve as a diary for you and get you started. But what's great about it is it's really the recipe book. So it's going to give you all the information you need from, you know, selecting a bullet 
knowing um, seating depths, powder charges, and it's really designed to keep everyone safe. We want everybody safely and properly reloading, and this book is really a great way to do that. Sure, and there are a lot of variables uh, out there, so we want folks to start low, work high. That's always, always mm -hmm. the recommendation. Uh, don't just start right at the maximum mm -hmm. charge, um, but we'll move on to more equipment that you'll need because there mm -hmm. is a bunch of it. Um, calipers, for example, the, you can get these in dial or digital. Um, so you can actually have it just, you'll, you'll pull that open and it'll actually read it, read you uh, what the measurement mm -hmm. is with digital. Um, this is a dial set of calipers here, but this is gonna help you ensure that you have the right overall length. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're, you've seated the bullets to the correct depth. If you don't, you could jam it into the rifling and have a pressure event. So these are absolutely crucial as well as safe reloading data for, for reloading. Um, some more optional things, um, actually not optional, but you're gonna need a scale absolutely have to know how much powder you're putting into that casing. So here we actually have three of them in front of us right now. Uh, uh, the, the well, I shouldn't say old, but the old tried and true uh, balance beam scale. Yeah, kind of the fail safe, if you will, of all of the scale systems. Absolutely, if, if your digital scales or your, your electronic scales are down, this is always gonna work. Uh, but we also do have digital as well. Um, this one here, for example, runs on battery. So if you're in a remote location, mm -hmm. you can actually do that wherever you're at. And then this one plugs into the wall. Um, you're also going to need, um, if you're doing single stage, absolutely, you're gonna need a reloading tray. Uh, that just helps keeps everything in line and, and make sure that, uh, I use it as kind of like an order reference. So I'll go through it and I'll start on left to right always. Mm -hmm. I'll see people go right to left and they'll drive me crazy. <laughs> but it keeps me in line. Um, you're also gonna need a set of dies. Mm -hmm. um, that kind of goes without saying, and then an appropriate shell holder mm -hmm. and shell plate. But dies are gonna vary in type of set. Mm -hmm. So rifle, typically from us, you'll have a, a two die set. Pistol, you could have a three or a four die set, but we're essentially we're gonna resize the casing mm -hmm. down to a, a size that's going to chamber in your rifle. Um, all of our, our dies will actually take down to the SAMI minimum spec. So you can actually take the brass down and it'll, it'll chamber in anyone's gun. Mm -hmm. And um, the dies, you know, Hornady is one of, one of the few manufacturers that offer multiple die styles. So you guys have true. match dies, standard dies, and even custom dies. So if you guys are really looking for options for that extremely custom. Um, if you send Hornady your spent brass, you guys will even create dies specifically for whatever you're loading at home. So yeah. that is a really great customer service option that most companies or a lot of companies don't offer. Yeah, and a lot of them used to, but we, we've kind of stood the test of time on that. Mm -hmm. And our gentleman in the custom die department has done a great job. Um, Another thing to mention, have to clean your cases. That's right. If you want your dyes to last, you're going to put clean cases in them. Well, not only that, if you when you go to inspect your brass, sure. there's a lot of you know hairline cracks or pitting, things that you can find in that brass that's really not visible with the naked eye until you clean it. So cleaning is such an important process. And there's so many ways to clean, um, but you're now you guys have offered a wet tumbling system, yep. which is really kind of like that latest and greatest uh, that everybody's raving about. Yep, and we do offer that latest and greatest wet tumbling. Mm -hmm. uh, personally, I like it. It gets the cases shiny inside and out. If you decap your brass ahead of time, you can actually get super clean primer pockets. Uh, what folks have been doing for a long time is the old vibratory tumbler. Yeah. So we've got corn cob media in there right now. Some folks will use a walnut shell media. Yep. So this does a great job of cleaning the outside of the cases and getting them to a brilliant finish as well. Uh, there's also ultrasonic cleaning, mm -hmm. which is a, a relatively new thing as well, but that'll really get the inside uh, very, very clean. Um, once we've got our cases clean and inspected, yeah. specifically with rifle, we're gonna need to chamfer and deburr those mm -hmm. cases um, if we don't need them trimmed. But here's a, a our case prep duo duo for example but that's got an inside and outside chamfer if we were to leave that that case mouth rugged we could scar the bullet as mm -hmm. we're seating it so we just give it a nice little entryway into the casing um, another thing that's a bit too heavy for the table here is our case uh, trimmer yeah. system so um, if your cases are too long and they go into the chamber uh, you can actually squeeze the neck in and accidentally crimp the bullet um, and not know it. So we, we in our reloading Bible, of course, our manual, we've got a maximum case length and a recommended case length so we can get those cases trimmed to the right length. 
Um, a powder funnel is extremely nice. I suppose you could use a folded up piece of paper if you wanted to, but why not get a cheap little uh, reloading funnel uh, to get that powder into your into your cases? And then of course, uh, we're gonna need a case lube and um, kind of your one shot lubricant when we go to press uh, those bullets into our yeah. cases. So we have good lubrication on those and make sure everything uh, functions properly. Yeah, and, and one shot case lube is, is wildly popular. Uh, I'm a big fan of it. We also have our unique case lube. That's more of a paste lube. So mm -hmm. this one you spray on, this one you kind of wipe Roll on. on. Yeah. There's a lot of small pieces to put together here, but Hornady does a great job of offering some kits that'll really get people at least started in the right direction. Absolutely. Yeah, we offer, about, I believe, about three kits with our single stage presses that'll get you in the right direction, just like you say. It's not the whole kit and caboodle, because mm -hmm. um, we don't necessarily know what folks are going to reload, mm -hmm. what calibers, what cartridges they're going to reload, but we'll get you started in the right direction. If you guys are new to reloading and you have additional questions, don't hesitate to call Hornady's customer service. You guys have trained staff that the people here reload, they hunt, they shoot, and they really understand what goes into being successful and safe with reloading. So don't hesitate to call your customer service and talk to those individuals and they'll help you make some great decisions. Yeah, and I used to be one of those uh, trained technicians. Um, we take great pride in being very easy to work with. And like you say, all of us shoot and reload and, and Hornady wants us doing those things so that we can give a genuine service right back to the customer. If you guys are looking for more information or would like to shop Hornady products, go to your local dealer or you can go online to Hornady.com and learn more.